Good morning, Modern Stedders. Good morning. It's a nice brisk 17 degrees out right now. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. When I woke up, which was 4 a.m., it was 29 degrees out. To think oh, that really? it's yeah, it's dropped 12 degrees. It's Seven o'clock now. So in three hours, it's dropped 12 degrees. It should be getting warmer. Not that much colder. The moon is out. <laughs> Did he break my tractor? No. What is this from? The ice bank broke your tractor. What is it? It's the mower deflector. I'll have to order a new one come springtime. If we put a new one on, I'll probably just get broken again. Why don't you take the mower off? It's extra weight right now. Not when you keep losing pieces. <laughs> Now, I don't have to feel bad when I break the tractor. That's right, that's why I broke it for you. So you don't have to feel bad when you put like the first scratch or dent in it. It's already done. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> you gonna come out, Hope? You ready? Good morning. 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 You want? Yeah. There you go. Eat that. You can have some cars after. You guys liking the cold? You got a nice thick coat on there, Camo. So this summer, Gina and I put in our own septic system right over to the side of the solar array. The tank is buried up here and we didn't have enough material to taper it off and to make the leach field look nice in the pipes and everything. So we knew the loggers would be coming back and the logging company has their own heavy equipment. They're the ones who cleared this lot for us. So I asked them when they came back to bury some of those big rocks and I'll put a clip in right here of them with a hole dug to bury some of the big rocks to get us some material to taper off and make the septic system blend in better with the land. So that's what they are working on today and it is looking so nice. And it's pretty funny seeing dirt when we're in the frozen tundra right now. That is looking good. It's going to be a lot easier to mow all of this, <laughs> which is going to be nice. Solar panels are cleared off. Once we get some sun today, we'll be charging our batteries. It looks like we have one of our posts. The fourth one in is frost heaving a little bit. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and I'm going to have to adjust the post that goes down into the anchor screw but I kind of want to see what it does and how it affects the system before we go and fix it. I just want to kind of see what, what happens. It's pushed it up by like a couple of inches and so far it just looks funky. So we'll fix that in a little bit. It's a nice day out, a little chilly, but it's beautiful outside. Brought up your fire suppression. Gina got us our fire extinguisher. All right, we'll keep it right over here until we have a wall to mount it on. So if you need it, that's where it is. So the other day, when I was out and about, I did.
I'm sure we're gonna need more of these for different areas, but I'm hoping I got enough of these nailer plates to put over where we put all of our peck seating. We'll get these nailed on and this will keep it so when we're putting our sheetrock up or later on we wanna hang something on the wall, if we try to put a screw right in this area, it won't let the screw through so we can't go through our pecks. wants a chalk line snap so she can make sure all of her nailing plates are nice and straight. So we want to go 64 inches. I would have just went on top. Oh, I see what you're doing. Luckily I had an electrical supply box in the house from all the different projects we've done and I had some three-way boxes. Saved myself a trip to the hardware store. Don't know if that's called for, but that makes that box a lot more rugged. It's not flopping around out there. I like it. So now we have all of our electrical boxes up, switches, outlets, outlets, and all of our switches in. So now I want to go around and I make a mental map in my head of how I'm going to run the wires so that way I can stop pre drilling everything. I don't do this every day, so it takes me a few minutes to map in my head how we're gonna run the wires. The wires are gonna be coming from the breaker box down there, up, we'll have to run them like up this one, and then to where we need them because we wanna keep in here open so we can have storage. So yeah, I'll have to run everything up this bay, up high, and then wherever we need our wires. All right, step one, we got that part done. Give me a few minutes and I'll do some mapping in my head and then I'll be right back. Now, it doesn't matter if it's nice and straight as long as it covers what it needs to cover, but I just figured if I could just pop it up there instead of having to try to make it look kind of good because I don't want it to be like jig and jag. So just a quick chalk line, I figured that'd be easier. All right, that took a few minutes, it wasn't too bad. I'm a visual guy, so 
I need to kind of go around and like visualize how I'm gonna run the wires, where I'm gonna run them, where I'm gonna drill all my holes before I start. So that way I know and I have a map in my head to get going. I've been doing a lot of my buying online of stuff. You gotta order everything nowadays, a lot of the stuff for the houses. You gotta order, so I've been going on like homedepot.com and Lowe's, ordering it because the stores don't have it, I get shipped to the house. Well, while I was doing that, during Black Friday, they had some really good sales on Milwaukee tools. The pricings were more than half off and they were giving away free tools, but that's just another story. But when I was on during the Black Friday sale, they had this auger bit kit on sale as an extension in four different sizes. We have each and three eighths all the way to two and nine sixteenths and replacement blades. I almost didn't buy it, but I've used this quite a bit, and this is a really nice set. If you're gonna be doing any drilling through two by fours or two by sixes for wiring or even plumbing, I recommend this set. Not sponsored, but this thing has saved me a lot of time and aggravation. This little adapter is really nice. And if you don't have a nice auger bit to drill through some of the thicker studs going next to each other, it can really be a pain. So having the right tools or the shop tools makes everything go a lot quicker. The way I look at it is if I'm buying myself tools, they're an investment. I'm saving myself money by doing the work. And then next time I need to go do the job, I already have it. But a lot of the tools I do have are from our first original house. So they've been paid for when we did projects back then. And they've just been an investment for everything later on. I have these ones done, as you can see, it drops down, but that's how the pipe goes. I tried to stay level, but then it was kind of being the purpose. So it goes down. I still have to go out in the greenhouse area, and there's a few that I need to do over there. But I'm just going to warm up a minute and then get out there. Well, I thought I was done my project and then I forgot by the stairs. So I have a little bit more to do. We'll get that done. I only have one left. I have forgotten I had things to do. So we will have to pick up some more before we can go ahead and do the greenhouse room because I know that we have a spot for more than one of these. So that is to be continued. This is when the extension comes in handy. I have, oh, two by four here, but behind it I have two two by fours that need to go in, but I have a space from this. So I don't know, it's like six inches that I can't get my drill in. I am so glad that we had this spray foamed. If we didn't have it spray foam insulated, we still wouldn't have any insulation in this building because We'd have to have all of our electrical wires in and everything before, and this would be miserably cold working right now. So glad.
like that. It sounds like a nail, but there shouldn't be any nails right there. Must be just a hard spot of wood and the battery's probably dying. <laughs> Yeah, there's a knot right there. Totally sounded like we hit a nail. Battery's dead. Switch. And the cleaning fairy's gonna have to come again. So our viewer sent us up this. It is a DeWalt vacuum and I've had it for a little bit, but I wanted to wait and use it. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm really excited about this tool. So he, I believe it was Gary, correct me if I'm wrong, sent it and he said, I don't believe you have one of these in your DeWalt collection. And I am really excited for it. So it was sent to the alumna family, but I really think it was for me because I'm the one that's gonna vacuum. No, it's for everyone, but I'm excited about it the most. So I put a battery in, I'm gonna give it a try. So I think it works really good. I'm sure it fills up fast, but for this kind of stuff, it's really good. It's really nice for handy. It's really nice and handy. And I think I could use it to clean my car. So that's really a plus. So I found it works really, really good to clean up like these areas, get those boxes nice and clean. <laughs> stuff I've sucked up. I'm just gonna dump it. I'm running all of our wires for the knee wall up high so the only place we couldn't put a cubby hole is where the outlets are. So if we change our minds later on we can redo some cubbies if we need to. Okay. Sounds good to me. My selector switch got hit by the foam. I thought he'd already broken the drill. I was like, what the heck just happened? But this was put in center, so it was out of gear. As you can hear the gears grinding. What is the gear thing for? So you can go from like high speed to low speed. Oh. up some of the foam in here so we have a good bed to run our wires up on the side on this side we just gotta trim this in so Thank you. 
renewal. Time to bring the TYM back up to the house site. It got running, it's running good. I didn't know how it would be because it's cold and I haven't put winter fuel in it, but Scott's Recreation came and picked it up and did a service to it and they topped it off with fuel. So I'm thinking they put diesel, uh, I'm thinking they put winter fuel in it and then with the 911 that I put in, we're in good shape. We needed a little break and today we're going to be taking out the mule with the camp stove tracks on it and then we're going up and checking out and seeing what's been going on with the logging. They've been up here logging for uh, not quite a week yet so it'll be interesting to see how far they've gotten and where they're actually cutting right now. Sometimes you just need a break to go out to have an adventure and some fun. Get out, get some fresh air. Right. It's cold out but that sun is out right now and it feels beautiful. Yes, I know. It's still dusty in here. I was going to clean it, but you know how that goes. It's still there and it's going to stay probably for a little bit. The dock's holding up. Are you gonna go on it? Well, yeah. I have to. This is the most I've seen this pond frozen. It's never frozen solid like this that we've seen. There's always open holes. You can see a spot like right in front of the dock and then one over there. There's a springs under them, but they're actually frozen solid this time. This pond never froze solid last year. I can hear it. Water. Wow, that surprises me. This never froze like this last year. And last year is just as cold as it is right now. The overflow is staying open. It sure does smell nice being out here in all this fresh cut timber. So I figured while we're over here, I'd show you the trees we're having cut and talk a little about why we're cutting what we're cutting. We're cutting mostly softwood, these thickets of hemlocks. 
They've never been managed and they're probably 30 to 40 plus years old. So they're all small and close to each other, even though, even though they're small, they are all about the same age and a lot of them look like this. So if we don't take care of them and we get a big windstorm, they're gonna fall down. And if we don't take care of them, they're all just gonna rot. So we wanna be able to manage this land and use it to run animals in here and different stuff. So we wanna make sure we manage it and steward it the best to our abilities. And one of them is using it for timber when we can, because if not, it's just gonna be junk. Right now it can get cut and the stuff that's not rotted can get turned into building material and people can build houses with it. And then we can have a nice cleaned up area that we can use. Because if you ever seen an area like this where everything blows over or falls over because of rot, it's like walking through uh, the chipmunk running out there. It's actually really good for the animals too because it brings new food, right? Yep. But if you if all that falls down, you try to walk through it. It's like walking through toothpicks. It's not very fun. This winter, the deer will be coming in, and they'll be eating all the tops of the trees that are down. And then, as this grows back, they're gonna be loving all of the new growth that's coming in for food. So it's definitely a cycle. Look at that. Got some nice views over there. This will make a nice pasture. We'll have to see what it looks like come springtime and what else we can do with it. But if we can make it into like a hay field would be nice. Maybe not, maybe it'll just be like a pasture to run our animals on. But it's exciting to see everything and see how it looks. It's really nice. It is nice. You can see all the trees behind me, they're all falling over. That's what we don't want to happen with the property. Babe, think of all the sheep we could have in here. Our, and cattle, yeah. Yeah. Look at all that room. Let's keep going. Now we just need some more snow so we can cover up some of these big rocks and the stumps that they're cutting so we can get in here and go further with the mule and the tracks. I'll have to clean up all this stuff so we can make some good trails. We need some more snow. So we can drive out here and go further with the tracks on the mule. Yeah, I don't like driving over stumps and stuff like that right now. Right. So it's all cut and where they cut it, the stumps are kind of high. So the girls don't like driving over that. Kind of pushing the sticks up. With the mule. So I'll have to wait till we get some more snow and then we can go further. The track system is really nice because we got it on the mule and we can go out as a family and we got heat in the cab we can explore. So this is the back side of that clump they're cutting.
I want to thank Camso for sponsoring today's video. We bought our tracks from Camso last year and we used them all last year to get around our new property. And then this year, we're going to be using them to get around the property, to explore, to collect firewood, to go further and just to see what is out there. And the great thing is when they're on the mule, it makes it more of a family adventure than if we had snow machines. It's always exciting to be working with companies that we've already been using their products for. Camstore's tracks are rugged and reliable and we had no issues with them last year or this year going on and off. It is convenient. So I am excited that we were able to get the mule out for the first time this year and I can't wait to get it out. In a couple of more days, we're going to be getting some more snow. So it always makes it fun when you get some fresh snow to go around the homestead with.